Hello everyone, this is from SAP Learning Academy and in this video, today I will show you on screen what is the basics of SAP ABAP program and what is, what is the structure and how to write a basic program. Mainly I will show you regarding the structure and also how to define an internal table and so on. Okay, let's start from the start. At the here I have created a program, Jet Test Program. So once I'll go to change, so here it is, it is blank. So first I will show you what is the what is the structure. So first you need to define a class. So in, as you need to write it inside a class. So so I will write a class name like uh, first program. Okay. And definition and you have to end the class end and class and you need to write another class that is first program implementation yes so almost my structure is ready so you need to define you need to create two classes one is definition and there is implementation so mostly we define the objects or structure in the definition part yeah you can also define under implementation that's fine but mainly we define the main structure inside the definition so also you need to write uh, whether you're writing the structure in public or or private sections so I will write it under public section so now I will define a structure here suppose uh, yeah the first you need to write types then begin of suppose I'm writing a structure name as table one and uh, suppose I will um, give two fields like name is always a type C, C is character and length is 40. Okay, suppose another I will give a field as age and it is again character field and length as suppose 3 and end of table 1 so in this way now my structure is made for table 1 so where there will be two fields name and age and and both are character type okay so now I have made the structure so now I will write another thing that is methods under end routine because I will define this end routine in this class in implementation class okay so now my definition part is completed now I will go to the implementation part yes you can check the program by save first and then check uh, yes there is a implementation missing in end routing yes so we, I will write the implementation here so so let's start yes uh, we'll write method end routine let me just check it okay no problem so we will write the end routine here so let me first define a work area so how to how can you define a work area suppose yes you have to write data then work area wa underscore suppose one and you need to write type type of suppose table one 
so this work area will contain same structure as table 1 but only difference is uh, it is a work area it's not a standard table suppose I will define a, str a standard table now how can you do it it is again data suppose I'll write as result package type standard table of table 1 so it means here I have defined the result package it is same table as table 1 and it will work as a table and and the first one that, that is the work area I will define another standard table that is data that is table 2 type standard table of table 1 so so now I have defined the as they're saying table 1 is unknown mm, okay we will check it so I have to define one more that is the field symbol and we use field symbol to define the same structure but it will not contain any memory type suppose table 1 okay now we, we will define suppose so there's an error is table 1 is unknown okay if we copy this thing this part and if we paste under implementation so we'll remove this part from the web okay sorry there's a called tables one sorry somewhere I have written tables that was the error so probably where I have I written tables okay here it is okay now it should work okay we are still writing the end routine that's what it's saying because as we have written method end routine so I have to end this somewhere suppose end method okay I hope now it will not so the yes now it's clear so there's no program no problem uh, yes now I will uh, show you how to write a loop suppose uh, suppose I will loop at result package result package and assigning result fields and suppose where age is not initial so I'm writing a loop here loop at result package assigning result fields so where age is not initial move result fields
age to work area age now append work area to table two now in to end the loop that's why end loop is here okay so now I can check my program yes it is correct no syntax error is found so in this uh, small program what I have seen what you have you see, what you have seen is that first we need to define there will be two sections one definition and there is implementation so in this definition part mostly we define the structure related things yeah we can also uh, define the structure in the implementation part as well okay so this structure we can define here as well so I will show you once again so here it is yes so you can save it and check it yes there's no error so after that I have defined a work area WN1 type of table 1 I have defined two internal table that is result package and table 2 uh, those are a standard table of table 1 it means it will have same structure as this now I have a written a loop at result package so finally the data will come to table 2 so after that you can print your result package how can you do it and now suppose you write a Repress suppose result package and now result package equal to suppose table two yes so the value of table two the value of table two you can store to result package so this is your final data result package so hope you have understood this video please subscribe this video if you like it also comment below uh, regarding more questions thanks for watching